All right, we have a little percussion change, uh, and I'd like just to make sure I say a couple things before we start the next piece. A um, bunch of thank yous. I want to make sure I thank so many people that helped make tonight uh, possible. I want to thank all the band boosters. Chuck Tisdale helps us all the time in the recording booth. Uh, all my colleagues, sectional directors, and um, you know, just everybody that helps support us. I'd like to thank our guest uh, commentators today, Mr. Scott Kerfman and Mr. Dave Vitale, who are here helping us out, giving us comments, help us get ready for about a week and a half on March 4th at Mentor High School. We will be playing at 3 o'clock. Um, come out, you'll hear improvements even from tonight um, in what you hear, and we're looking forward to it. Um, the next piece is the piece that uh, is off of the list. Uh, we have a select list that we choose pieces off of, and you have to choose one of the piece, pieces on the list. And The Light Eternal is a piece uh, that uh, I really, really like. Um, and has a story to it. It's a true story. Um, I'm sure some of, some of you here probably know the story of the four chaplains. Um, but that's what this piece uh, is about. Uh, just a kind of quick nutshell version of it. Um, the theme of this next piece is based on a church hymn. Um, you'll hear it played at the beginning, you'll hear it played throughout, and you'll hear it played in, in different forms. Um, the story, the true story, is of um, the ship, the, US, or the SS Dorchester, um, was carrying army troops from the United States uh, during World War II, and it was sunk by a German uh, submarine. And uh, of the 900 or so uh, people on board the ship, I think there are about 162 survivors. Um, and the story, the true story from the survivors, uh, the ship sank in about 18 minutes really, really fast, um, was that the four chaplains that were on board, four different faiths, um, and uh, they, as, as the ship was going down, and it was a, a surprise during the night, um, not only did they help the soldiers to the boats, or whatever they could, but they gave their own life vests, um, knowing they weren't going to make it to some of the soldiers, um, and the memory that the survivors have is this image of, um, as the ship's going down, the four chaplains linked arm in arm, um, singing and praying and singing. One of the hymns is the hymn you're going to hear right now. Um, and that stuck with them forever. Um, you're going to hear the, the whole story portrayed in the piece. Uh, you're going to hear uh, in the percussion section uh, the, the sonar. Um, the dinging of the sonar as the missile is approaching, and you're going to hear the gong hit. Um, and you're going to hear, I guess, the aftermath of the, of, the, of the singing. So it's portrayed really, really well. Um, I want to just quickly read uh, just a short couple sentences from the program notes. Um, in the program notes for this this piece, it says the they stood shoulder to shoulder in mutually supporting faith. Um, this is the ideal of brotherhood. This is what we want in America, and this is what the four chaplains gave us. Hope you enjoy our performance of the lecture. <laughs>